These are the hidden tennis chats you surely missed. We start off with Kurgios, who is having a bad temper, and this incident is a fantastic example of this. Frustrated with the umpire, Kurgios unloads his anger. However bad the empire was, it's very childish behavior. Sometimes no words at all are needed for a chat. Here, Serena Williams and Coach Patrick Moratoglo can't stop laughing in this training session. I'm not sure exactly what's so funny, but I'm laughing too. In this clip, Benoit Pair just needs to eat something and makes his feelings very known. There is a restaurant just over there. Can you bring me something? I don't know. I pay. I have money if you want, but please. I need to eat something, I told you. He realizes he's on a tennis court, not in a restaurant, right? Next up, we have fired up Djokovic celebrating his win against Berrettini by trying to impersonate a grizzly bear. Set a match. Djokovic. This is a man who really wanted to win a tennis match. Roger Federer has had enough of Djokovic's family in this clip, who keeps talking. He manages to get his point across with firmness and with grace. If Roger Federer tells you to be quiet, then be quiet! Please. Murray's not afraid to speak his mind when he needs to. Here he delivers a deadpan comment to Rosal that surely hurt his opponent's feelings. His delivery of this line is hilarious. This might just be one of the best fan calls out in history, helping out Viktor Trojki serve against his Serbian counterpart Novak Djokovic. That fan has an eternal claim to fame now. In this match, Tomljanovic suspected that her opponent, Ostapenko, was faking an injury during their match, leading to this exchange at the end of the match. Your behavior is terrible, terrible. You have zero respect, yes? What? I thought Wimbledon was supposed to be a gracious Grand Slam. Here, Roger Federer gives a brilliant and calm explanation for why his opponent could not have legally got his drop shot back. Never disagree with Roger Federer on a tennis court. Kurgios again, in this clip, he claims he's ready to receive Kachanov's serve despite visibly re-gripping his racket on court. Childish behavior once again, but a lot funnier this time. When the fan calls out, let's go Roger in this match against Robin Haas, Haas has a reply that makes the whole crowd laugh. Just a kicker, worked out. You can't help but love this moment. In this clip, we have Nadal responding to Ernest Gobis after Gobis claims he was the better player in their match despite losing. If you understand that the best player is hit every ball as hard as you can, doesn't matter if the ball goes in or goes out, I hit every serve 216 kilometers 120 per hour if you think that that means you are the best player maybe he was the best player today i think i'm going to side with rafa on this one emma radukanu won the hearts of tennis fans all over the world in her debut wimbledon and u.s open appearances including the heart of this little boy emma will you marry me what a sweet little moment <laughs> After winning the Laver Cup in 2019, Team Europe held a happy press conference where they joked about one of them paying for a holiday. Are we, are we not going on vacation together? <laughs> as long as you pay. Okay. <laughs> I can. Sure. You can too. Though. <laughs> we can chip in. The, the further the table, <laughs> you pay the drinks. I would definitely be hoping for Roger to pay if I was on that table. This video shows Victor Troiki getting very angry with the umpire after losing his match against Ramos Vinolas. He shouts at him for a while. Do you know what you did? Do you know what you did? Do you know what you did? The umpire eventually calls security, and I really can't blame him. For his third appearance in this video, Kurgios gets angry at the change of ends and launches his water bottle in the umpire chair, putting a hole in it. However, he has an excuse. Slipped out of my head. Slipped out of my head. You know, slipped out of my head. If we watch the footage again, in fairness to Nick, it does seem like it slipped out of his hand. And Erotic has lost to Roger Federer in four different Grand Slam finals, enough to make him his enemy, one might think. Luckily, Erotic has a good sense of humor about it. Uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Roger. You're starting to become very, very annoying. Um, Look on the bright side, Andy. At least you were getting to finals. Now for Kurgios' last appearance, who can be just as funny as angry. Here he reacts brilliantly to a fan callout. Top boy, first serve. Net second serve. 
To his credit, Nick seems to find the joke genuinely funny. Here, we have yet another example of Roger Federer's sportsmanship, encouraging Zverev to challenge the serve and subsequently win the point. It would have been a lot funnier if the serve had been out. For our final clip, we have two of the goats of tennis trying to film an ad and failing miserably to do so, while still having a good time in the process. <laughs> this is just a short part of 20 minutes of laughing. What a wonderful sight for any tennis fan to see.